Oh, never mind. It's just vain. <laughs> with another video and since 4th of July is coming up I thought we'd do a little patriotic look you know with in typical colors blue red and white and um, it's going to be mostly an eye look you can add a lipstick I will add one but that is optional I mostly thought about you know this particular area okay so I'd say let's get started with foundation I'm using the Naked Skin Foundation by Urban Decay as usual and I'm going to apply this with my ring finger around my eye area as usual. Okay, I'm topping this off with the Soft Compact Powder by Manhattan. I got a new color because I feel like I'm getting even paler over time. I know that anybody out there has the same problem as I have. I feel like from year to year I'm getting more and more white transparent and I'm applying this in the same areas where I also applied the foundation. I'm doing a dabbing motion, not, you know, swiping because you don't want to move your foundation around. So just do this padding motion and you can go over it with, you know, something like a big brush and, you know, fluff off the excess. That's what I normally tend to do because I think we're all guilty of overusing powder. Next step, eyebrows. I'm using another eyebrow pencil. I tended to use a darker one, but since my skin gets paler and paler, I got uh, another eyebrow pencil. And this one is by P2. It's called Eyebrow Express Pen, and I have it in the color Stylish Blonde, even though it's more of a a light brown I would say so um, well that's the one that I used to fill in my brows and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just forget about that okay so I'm applying an eye primer I'm using the eyeshadow primer potion by Urban Decay and applying this on the upper lid all over the whole lid and if I have some left over I normally apply it on the lower lash line like this Ooh, what is that? It's like 30 degree outside, you know, uh, Celsius, not Fahrenheit. We need two eyeshadow colors, blue and red, you know, the typical American colors. What we're going to do is we're going to apply the blue color on the upper lid and the red one on the lower lash line. So much fallout. I'm sweating. Why is it so hot? Okay, you should end up with something like this. I just applied it and now I'm taking a blending brush and blend out the edges, especially in the crease, you know, in your eye socket and also on the lower lash line. If you feel you take away too much of the color, just reapply it. Go back and forth until you're happy with the look. Why am I blue here? What is happening? Oh, never mind. It's just vain. Oh, we need some more foundation. That I almost dropped. So you end up with something like this. If you have a lot of fallout like I do, then you can take some concealer, clean up this area. That's what I'm going to do because I do tend to have a lot of fallout with this palette. I don't know if it's me or it's the palette. But you know, just take something like this. Mine is by Max Factor. It's the Master Touch All Day Concealer and I have it in color Ivory. And it has this kind of spongy applicator and I think it's really a good one to clean up. Holy moly, what's wrong there? These kind of areas. So I guess just go like this and you can go really close to your eyeshadow. So we end up with something like this. The next thing what we're gonna do is work on the lower lash line. As you can see, I applied quite a lot of red, but it's still, the connection to your eye white is still kind of weird. So what I normally do is I'm taking a gray eyeliner, for example. This one, this is the Cool Creole Eyeliner by Cochise and it's in the color Take the Greyhound. It's just a simple gray one and I apply it very close to the lash line. Don't cover up all the red, just a bit of the red and then go over with a smudge brush to smoke it out a little bit so it's a little bit dark but the red will still shine through. So, almost done. Now we're taking a white eyeshadow. I don't have a matte white, so I'm going to have to take a shimmery white one that I can't find. Mine is by Too Faced from the Smoky Eye Palette. Um, I'm taking this one. This is called White Light. It's the only white one that I have. I don't own a matte white one. If you do have a matte white one, use it. And we're going to apply this under the brow bone just to highlight a little bit and make it look cool. I'm taking this eyeshadow brush. It's a very 
small one. I think it just take a little bit under the brow bone so we can get the white element back in. So, but of course we want to add a little bit more white. This is not a lot of white and um, so I'm taking a white eyeliner. This is the Cool Kajal one by Max Factor and it's in the color white. What a surprise. And I'm going to apply this on the waterline and a little bit on the inner tear duct to highlight. So you can get this weird, you know, where blue and red meets, you can get the transition a little bit better. Okay, so we have this. The last step on the eyelid is that I'm going to take my gray eyeliner again and applying a very, very thin line on my upper lash line just to give the give a mirrored look if you have the gray down there you want to have the gray up there as well but don't cover up the blue okay and we have that so last step is eyelash curling with my trusty old eyelash curl and mascara I'm using the lash sensational by Maybelline and I'm applying this to top and bottom lashes I'm sweating like crazy I don't know why Okay, and there we are. The last thing that you can, last thing, last thing, the last thing that you can do if you want to, if you want to jazz this look up a little bit more, is that you take three eyeliners, a white one, a blue one, and a red one. What is happening here? Right. White, blue, and red. And um, you can draw you like three little stars, one white, one, one blue, one, one red, one on the side of your cheek. Of course, that's a little bit more obvious if you want to, but if you don't want to, you just want to wear the look, you can. So I'm trying to do my best to make a little star or just a little cross thing starry on the side. Like this. It looks so cute. Okay, the last thing is lips. If you want to do some lips, you can do. I'm just going to apply a clear gloss today because I feel like the eyes are prominent enough so we don't have to add even more jazz up. So I would just do go like this, jump, jump, ta -da, a clear one. Oh, uh, by the way, this one is by Mood Matcher and it's the Young Lips Plumper. Um, it's a good one. It smells like hazelnut or caramel or something like that. There you have your patriotic 4th of July thing look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.